morning people, it's Joe, it's All Leeds TV and it is time for another COVID-19 update. As you can see, I'm in a little bit of a different position right now. I'm stood up. I did a video the other day, I was involved with the Sky, I guess, coming together of their EFL um, Championship Team of the Season as chosen by the fans. I was asked to do that and that should be coming to you very shortly on your TV box and of course I will share with you my final 11 that I chose uh, in due course when that is close to airing. However, the reason I mention that is because in that video I had to be stood up. I was stood up in the video, I like the look of it, I can be more animated because I'm an animated kind of guy as you know and yeah it works. So this is the new situation guys, I hope you like it. Um, you get to see Trim Wayman, um, and yeah, I get to move. I'm just going to move this soon, and then I can just walk up and down. But there we go. Um, look, guys, I hope you are all doing really, really well in these difficult, uncertain, and scary times. Just please stay safe. Please look after your family. Stay indoors, obviously. Go out and get your exercise. I think it's important to do that. Um, half an hour run, hour walk, whatever it may be. Stay safe. Um, whilst doing that, you know, two meter um, gap and all that. But I think it's important to go out and do get exercise. Um, but yeah, let's not take the piss. Let's all, you know, look after one another. We all need to be one during this time. And, and I hope, you know, it doesn't affect you. Um, I, sh I just hope everyone's safe, I guess. You know, I don't want to go too much on to that. But yeah, um, let's get into the video then. So the reason for the video today, guys, is the EFL have unveiled a radical plan to finish this season in just 56 days, okay? 56 days, okay? Now, that time frame just equates to eight weeks. Eight weeks, okay? I mean, people are being asked to self-isolate if you're on the government guidelines for 12. Do you know what I mean? Which is three months, you know? Within eight weeks, 56 days, they believe they can get this season finished, okay? And that also would include the playoffs, it includes the playoffs and it includes semi-final, final, all that sort of jazz. I've got my notes up there if you're wondering why I just moved to the front and move back, move back, move to the front and move back, yeah. Um, so yeah, so, um, eight weeks, 56 days, the EFL have sent a letter to all championship clubs to advise them that they believe they will get the season done. Okay, within 56 days, exciting news for Leeds United fans, you may say, yes, the season is going to be done. Yes, we have the opportunity to win our games to go to the promised land of the Premier League. Okay, yeah, buzzing. However, the caveat to that is that it's going to be, or most likely going to be, behind closed doors. And there's the sticking point for me. There's the sticking point for a lot of Leeds United fans. I've seen it on Twitter. You know, there was a guy who was on TalkSpot the other night. Um, on the sports bar, which I've been on myself, tough crowd, I'm a Goldstein scum fan, and of course Jason Cundish Chelsky. Um, yeah, go get your father's gun and all that jazz. Um, but um, yeah, would you want to go up if you didn't get to see us go up? In a sense, you know, behind closed doors, fifty-six days, eight weeks. After that, they come out and say, just to let you know, Leeds have just beat Charlton four 0 and Leeds are promoted as champions. Yes, you're overriding emotion, get in, but you're going to miss that. You know, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter mention it, and, and I get it. Look, I've been waiting for this moment for a very, 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 very long time, okay? You know, I still have it in here, the image. I know what I'm going to do, who I'm with, who I'm going to search for. You know, I know where my mates are in the ground, you know? The, you, you know, the, the soppy southern attache over in the south stand. I'll be going to grab her, throw her in the air. She's very light. She'll go right up. You know, Jack, Jack's probably just still going to be stood at the board going bang, 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 bang. Can't quite contain himself. Do you know what I mean? Oscar eating his sandwiches. From sandwich brigade and all that. I'm only kidding Oscar, my man. But yeah, this is the thing. You know, I'll be with Sean. I run to the central circle, you know. I've got it all. I'm on my knees. This is my thing. I'm looking up. This is, I've got it all planned out. That may be taken away from us, okay? So that's the big thing that you have to consider. Now, if you were to say to me, would you take going up and it'd be behind closed doors? My answer to you is yes, 100%. Because come next season, I would much rather say, who oh, have you got to start the season? We've got Scum at home. Or we've got, you know, Scum at Old Trafford, first game of the season. Wow. 
as opposed to, you know, we've got Reading. We've got Reading away. No disrespect, Reading fans. Do you see what I'm saying? So I get it. But look, the exciting thing for me is the season will finish. Okay. So in a letter to all clubs written by EFL chairman Rick Parry, he has revealed his plans to finalise the season in just 56 days, which equates to eight weeks with fixtures set to be played behind closed doors. And of course, that 56 days as well, remember, it does include playoff semi-final and final, which again is an extra number of fixtures. So in actual fact, the season's going to be finished earlier than that. What he has said, okay, note to it, to not return to training until May the 16th. May the 16th. We're not even on April the 16th yet. So this is a long way to go. If you remember in my last video, I said we'll win the league July, August. That possibly still could be the case. And hopefully by then, we'll all be out of lockdown. Everyone will have stayed indoors. And we'll get to see us beat Charlton 4-0 on the last game of the season and go absolutely mental. And then go, you know, it's August Bank Holiday, man. We might as well stay on it. We'll go to Leeds Fest. Do you know what I mean? We're going to get to see that. Fingers crossed. Um, that's how I would love it to pan out, okay? But, you know, 56 days, 8 weeks, behind closed doors, not told to go back to training until May the 16th, okay? So it's a long way away yet. He has said it's our working assumption at this stage that matches will be played behind closed doors. That's coming from the government, as I say. But, you know, they remain hopeful of the conclusion in the summer months, okay? Which you're looking at July, August. So hopefully that will happen um, and Leeds will get promoted as champions, as they rightly so should. Um, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree with the Leeds fan that was on the sports bar last night that said he'd rather start the season in the championship than go up behind closed doors? Or do you just want to go up by hook, by crook, whatever it may be? Uh, let me know your thoughts, your emotions on this coming out from the EFL. Of course, if you want to as well, let me know your best 11 championship players. Best 11, because as I say, that video will be coming to you shortly once I get the go-ahead from Sky. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Let me know if you like this, me being a bit more animated, because that's why I, I just have to sit, you know, I can't do much, whereas, you know, I can do more for this. So let me know about that, guys, as well, if that works for you, or if I've just looked like an absolute tit, which you don't mind, because it is what it is. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll leave it there. Peace out now. <laughs>